Eugene, the game will have something like a war between factions or guilds. And if that happened, how big gonna be the wars? And he answers, guilds can declare war to other guilds. Okay, so he don't he doesn't want to spoil anything. He just says that. So I guess we will see what happens after that. Shivu. Support and heal overlaps in a lot of games, and there's a lot of interpretations of support. I was asking for some key features that define support in this game specifically. And then Pishak, he saw this conversation between Shivo and Raisa, this slough. And he said, thank you for the question. I'm, I'm in our understanding, heal is also support class. But if you want to focus on the healing of other players, you really have to focus on the build and artifacts for the healer. Otherwise, you would not be able to heal as effectively as, as the special assist class. At the same time, there will be be characters with enough control and the ability to strengthen other who can act as pure support classes. We plan to make them very useful due to their utilities. It's pretty cool, yeah. So you can either be a guy who heals, you can either be a guy who buffs, or like, you know, help. That's nice to have some kind of a support, heal, different things. So you don't just need like the standard things. And Eugene is asking, uh, answering Sebastius um, on stream. I think we'll do it in spring. So that means they will be doing a big stream, um, showing gameplay and talking um, in spring. That's pretty cool. Can't wait. Do you have any plans from Yota? Do you have any plans for a Bard class? That would be amazing. That would be amazing. And Pishak answers, I personally like Bards very much. We will try very hard to implement it. Please do. Oh, if we could be a Bard support or healer, that would be amazing. And Dracto, has any possibility of revealing something about another class to us? And Pishak answers, okay, we have a Dwarf Sniper with a very nice mechanic. That's nice. So we know we're going to have a Dwarf. I mean, we saw the video with a Dwarf in it and a gun. So, but we now know that it's a Sniper. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so that was all the questions. That was the first one. So that was the, all the English questions. Now we will go to the Russian questions and I, I don't have the names and uh, the answer um, because Askrim, my friend at Discord, he, he translated all of these and he just, you know, pasted them, translated them and gave it to me in DM. So I will just be posting all of them, like bits of them. And I mean, we'll just go through them. So you can see here, Askrim, thanks again for the translation. So he, I have a lot of pages with questions and answers. I think it's it's it looks like almost a Russian actually got more questions answered than us. I'm not sure, but they have a lot of questions answered. So we'll see. The first one, will there be a killboard PP rating ETC? And they answered the rating system will be for many types of activities, including PP. So there is going to be rating. So you can actually see who's the best and so on, so on, so on. That's cool. How will the market be organized in each city? One or one? And they answer, the market will be one. How will the market be organized in each city? One or one? The market will be, will be one. Okay. How many people can stand on one server? At the moment, we are still conducting internal tests, but our goal is to have thousands of players on one server. Closer to the first public test, we will give a more detailed answer. How will banks be organized? Is each city one on one? The bank will be united, but access will be each settlement. What? So, so it will be like Albion where you have your bank and you have, if you go to this bank over here, it will have those items and this bank over here. So it's not going to be like a big bank system. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm just, just what I think. How many stages of CBT will be before OBT? So how many beta sta stages of closed beta test will be before open beta test? 
we will give this information closer to close beta test. Will it be possible to put marks markers on the map for group clans? The answer is yes, there will be such an opportunity. Eskrim. Well, okay, he is translating it. Question. What types of weapon will present in game and will they be tied to the character chosen during creation? Bow, sniper, rifle, sword, assault rifles. Um, we already know this answer pretty much that each of the specs in the game is going to have their own weapon. Um, but let's see what they say. In Core Punk, there's almost all types of weapon. Each hero can only use a certain type of weapon in particular with the specialization. That's what we know. Uh, question. What method will be produ will produce the best equipment? Crafting, PvE or PvP? The best uh, equipment, <laughs> I think I'm saying the word right, equipment will be mi mined through craft, high level PvE and PvP. With any of these methods, with a certain tenacity, it will be possible to get the best items. And that's how I like it. If you're really good crafting, good. If you're really good in PvE, good. If you are the best PvP, good. Then you should all deserve to get the best items on same equality, like in some other MMOs. Will there really be rare items that only small number of players can get? There will be legendary artifacts and weapons, some, some very rare ones, only be received by a few players. What? Some very rare ones can only be received by a few players. So they're going to have items that only maybe five people can get? That's fun, okay. How is the combat system built with the respect to the difference in equipment, equipment? And level, for example, can I with good pumping, <laughs> good pumping, and equip kill several player dressed weaker at once? So basically, if I'm if, if I'm OP, can I kill low? Can I kill not OP players? In core punk, the outcome of a battle or duel largely depends on the skill of the player. But if we talk exclusively about level of equipment, and uh, then with equal skill, one very much better equip equipped character will be able to kill several opponent on the say of the same level okay so he's basically saying if i have like 900 eye level and my enemies have 100 eye level i will be pretty much able to squish them but if they just have you know some small between them it's about skills you said that would be encourage the association of players in the guild in what way through interesting guild content we will introduce it later it seems like the guild system they're going to have in the game is going to be huge, like really cool. I mean, I can't wait to create my own guild and explore all that. That's going to be so good. Is it possible to see all the content of the game in solo? In solo, it, it will be possible to dress no worries than without a group, um, but it will be it will take more time. You won't be able to go through all the content in solo. For example, raids will not be intended for solo players. That's fine. I mean, that's I guess that's how it is. How will how well would the customization system be implemented? Can it be possible to make a character unique in appearance using costumes and other parameters? The customization system in, is one of our futures. Uh, we expect that any players will be able to look the way he wants. Each of the subcultures has its own style and everything, including skins. That's pretty cool. So each culture has their own style and we can get those styles so i mean of course let's say there's there's four cultures then you can get four different skins and then i mean you have all the players dividing in those four skins um, but again there will be so many skins of this game probably question earlier it was said that in in a west world it will be possible to get lost so that for a long time someone will not be able to cross with you from which we can conclude that, that there will be many hidden or inaccessible places or or the like the question is whether the activity associated with cartography or search for objects, artifacts of old world is easy or blurry quest and option to go, I don't know, why to bring it, I don't know what. <laughs> so it's pretty, I, I think he's saying that, can I get lost, like can I search for old treasures and so on? 
Our plan is to make the world big enough so that solo players can farm in far away lands from the main player population. We call these lands wastelands. We have the profession of finding various mechanisms in the Corpon world. Our plan is to make the world big enough for solo players to farm in far away lands from the main player population. We call these. Oh, that's the same. Okay. Cool. I mean, that, I like that, that they make the game so big so you can even. You can actually run around alone, some 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 way alone. Question: Will something be realized by the subtype of clan halls or lock captures? We have a plan to introduce sieges and wars between guilds, but this content will be choose after open beta. Okay. Question: What is the size of the map? As an example, it can it can be compared with a WoW map? The world will be really big. I would not like to make a comparison with other worlds, but I can say it will be really big. <laughs> okay. Will there be flying mounts? No, please. As you know, there are play a rather large role in exploring the world. There will be no flying mounts as well as teleports between location. Various types of public trans transport will be available for moving. Thank you. I like that. I don't like that you just can click on one button and then you are on the other side of the world. I mean, an MMO game should be a game where you have to travel. Travel, travel, travel. That's how it is. Will there be stealth classes or focus on fog of war? Will it not be much needed mission penetration withdrawal from battle? Blah, blah, blah. Will there have some hero with possibility of stealth, but will we, will not, we will not have permanent stealth. Only for a short time. We actually got that one approved. Will there be a limit on the number of professions a character has? If yes, and then he answers yes, the number of professions for one character will be limited. I like that. So you, you can just, well, I mean, then you are forced to do more characters if you want to have them all, but I mean, that's probably fine. You don't, you don't have to master everything. Will there be shapeshifters or pets? Oh, oh my God, yes. We will have very interesting hero shapeshifter. I am the I am the fan myself. So will the heroes? So will the heroes with pets? That is amazing. Shapeshifters and pets just got confirmed. Can we get a clap? Yay! Question: Robotic robotic character will he be overgrown with upgrades, changing body parts, or only armor, like everyone else? All characters will have a huge number of skin variations. For example, in the latest concept post on our website, the champion is presented. You can have a skin both of Faden, Samurai, and from Kandari, Saibo. Also with a robotic, robotic character, he can have skins in form of upgrades, but also completely different in style and form visuals. Last four cure was mine. Huh. Question, and about the monetization system, tell me something. We have not yet decided the monetization. This issue is still being discussed. Soon we will approve the best option for our game and immediately introduce it to you. I think this is a huge factor that how will the game be paid? How are we going to play it? I think it, they, they should probably soon decide, decide it and get out with it. But I mean, take your time. How many professions will there be as a carpenter, miner, and stuff? We'll have four collective professions and four craft. It is without fishing, cooking, and social professions. Social professions? Would, would that be like be a dancer so you can dance with people? And I don't know what a social profession is. Um, but that's cool. We're going to have four collective, so four where you can get stuff and four where you can craft stuff. And, without, and still with that, you can still have fishing, cooking, or social professions. Pretty cool. Question. At the fan among of the mobs on the location, there will be mini elites with random snacks at the farm. Okay. At the location, it will be possible to meet a lot of unpredictable things, including elite, elite camps with special loot. Cool. Will treasure? Will you treasure the cards to drop somewhere to find a treasure on them, and their resources, jars, scroll, and stuff? 
or some other threat rewards. I think some... That's probably a translation issue in this one, but let's see. While we do not have such a system, but it does not sound bad. What social profession are there in plan? Do I understand correctly that, me, that I mean bots and something like that? Okay, that was a dead question I exactly had. A social profession are professions that are aimed to be interaction between players. For example, you are a killer and can take orders from other players. But in more detail, we will present social professions later. So you can be a hunt, you can be a, what is it called? Hit, hitman, hitman. You can be a hitman. So you can, you can take, so someone can come to you and say, hey, this guy's pissing me off. Can you go on and kill him? Okay, that that sounds interesting. That I, I like that. I, I really right. Okay, I like that. What is the team's view of social interaction during leveling? I mean, for example, group quest, as in the same in a while. Yes, of course, we have group quest, group dungeons, and much more aimed in the social interaction. But at the same time, we don't want to infringe on the solo players. They will be able to make the same progress as in the group, but it will take more time and effort. That's fine. Will it be possible to visually make your hero unique? How flexible and interesting will the skill set be? I would not want everyone to run with the same builds as often happen in some same visual armor. The huge variety of builds and skins is one of our main features. I think there will be a lot of, lot of places for you to turn around. Okay, so yeah, everyone can be unique. They're saying that, don't worry, everyone will have something different they can go with. Mention it, a major, so this is the question. Mention a major chance to lose item with the character dies. What what does it mean? Will the item be deleted or will some someone other place be able to pick it up? If an item fell from a killed character, then it can be picked up but only if the dropped item is not tied to the kill character. If the item is tied to the kill player, then when lifting the item by another player, the item will be automatically disabled for materials. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, that's, this means that you can actually disable materials. So that means when you get items you don't need, you can destroy them and disable them. So if you kill someone who drops an item that is so bound, you will automatically disable it. What maximum resolution will the game support? Depends on your monitor and video card, but 4K will be available for sure. Thanks for that, but I really also want to know if you're going to support for um, ultra, -wide, ultra wide gaming, because I have a wide gaming screen and it would be so cool to have supported that in the game. How is the game with optimization? Is the world single or divided by channels? Okay, an optimization, it looks like how WoW is implemented. There are channels, but you can't switch between them. Okay, so it's like in WoW where you have like, they call it layers. So let's just say, okay, let's say you are in one server standing in this place and there's a thousand players, but each hundred players are in their own layer, like on top of each other. So they, so you're not like seeing a thousand people, but you're only seeing hundred people. And I think that's the same thing they're saying here that each, Everyone is their own channel, but you can't just switch between them. I think he's maybe a bit fast on saying you can switch because if you invite someone else to your party, a friend, and you are on two different channels, I guess there should be some kind of, you know, how can I play with my friend if I can't go to his channel? Just saying. And again, how many artifacts are in the game? Will there be strength, dexterity, etc? If so, it is all the artifacts. About artifacts, there will be many stats on artifacts. There will be reinforced plus abilities. There's a lot of them in the game. Not so 20 and you choose from them. Plus the variability in the stats when everyone falls off. Hmm. Question. As for PvP, the question arose as I understood it. PvP mode affect you that it Okay, okay, what? As I understand it, on-off PP mode only affect you. That is, you cannot attack, but you can, 
but they can attack you. Does this simply apply to the entire map with the exception of cities? That is, they gank you at the entrance exit of the dungeon raid? And answer is yes. When leaving the dungeon, they can gank. One must be vigilant. So pretty much I think this means that if you are in a group with people, of course you can't attack them because you're all green. But if someone leaves the group, you can pretty much kill him. So let's say you are in a group, four people in a dungeon, and let's say one of the DPS, he's just flaming and you know, everyone is just like, let's kick this guy. Then you actually can kick him and he's not in the group anymore. And it sounds like you can kill him. <laughs> it sounds like you could kick him from the group and basically kill him. Yes, when leaving the dungeon, they can gank. But it, mm, when leaving the dungeon, I'm not sure if it's, I mean, I hope you can actually kill them by he's just leaving the group and then you can kill him in the dungeon, like learn it, scrub, <laughs> you know, that would be so cool to just kick someone from the group and just kill him and say like, never come back. Um, or maybe they just mean when only when you have to leave the dungeon, but that whole thing would be pretty cool. Will there be artifacts on particular hero? About artifacts, they may be locked in the future, but not yet. They are simple, simply more profitable for your build and less profitable. In general, everyone can wear all artifacts. How fast will the leveling be? Cap in couple of days or months? An answer. We ourselves have not yet approved such details. We have a plan, but the final decision will be made on only after public test. At the moment, we want to do a weight average leveling, not too fast and not too straight to tighten. That's fine. So not like people is not dying for going to high level. It will not be, I don't hope it will be like classic WoW where you have to use like months. I want to be a taxi driver. Will it be possible to do such a social profession, please? Technically, we can do this in the sense in the build there is already a mechanic who can do this, but I'm not sure that this future will be in plan for the release. But I'm, but I'm sure that it, in the future we will definitely add something like that. Question: Will the gear stats be fixed, or will the values randomized during craft drop? Answer: Stats on artifacts will be random when crafting drop. And Ascrim now says, phew, that's all. So thanks for translating all these, Ascrim. Thank you a lot. Really appreciating it. So that was all the English and the Russian questions. And um, well, thanks everyone for watching. That was fun to make. So that was all the translations. Oh, sorry, translation and questions. So this was the group of the Q&As. If you have any questions, any comments, anything, let me know in the comments. If you like the videos, like the videos. And if you want to follow for more Core Punk news and maybe exclusive news in the future, subscribe to the channel and I will be updating you. So thanks for watching everyone. Have a nice day and see you on the other side. Peace out.